when I threatened to kill the whole school in oh. first grade. <laughs> <laughs> This is why this is why we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, in fairness, you see they didn't see. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Good morning, friends. I am right now putting the finishing touches on getting ready. I'm going to wait to do my lips when I get to the office, but I want to show you guys my outfit. It seriously looks like I'm going to a funeral right now. Oh, I need to get shoes to top it all off. I've got my black shoes. I seriously cannot wear a dress in the newsroom. It is just way too cold and it's not even the newsroom. It's mostly the studio. And today I'm gonna be in studio all day. I am filling in on traffic, but I'm also gonna be like popping in and reading stories with Bob as well because Sheila is off. Just like around the holiday time, everyone's off. Like everyone takes their time. So we normally have a lot of spots to be filled. This is the outfit. It's just, it's all black and <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. I have my leggings on underneath this. These are leggings. These are not tights. Tights don't do the trick. Like, I need thick leggings. So, dress is from Ralph Lauren. I have no idea where this cardigan is from. And I am running a million miles an hour, but what else is now? That's the one thing that stinks about my job because the reason I can do it, the reason I can wake up at two in the morning is because I am a morning person. But I miss out on like nice, relaxing mornings. Like, I would love to be sitting here with like a hot cup of coffee, but no that's not happening that has not happened in the almost five years i've been doing this so that's the only thing that kind of sucks but to the office we go i have made it to the breaking news center which is my makeshift traffic lair first thing i do is pull up the total traffic system well actually the first thing i do is change the ambiance because when you first enter this room this light automatically turns on this is awful this is awful so i turn this light off and then i turn this lamp on and it is beautiful i've said it before i'll say it again not a lot of people do this like a lot of people i know in real life do not care about ambiance but i'm not one of them so turn that on in here but really what that system is is just like almost like a copycat of the real traffic system in here like it's almost like a screen sharing type thing so if we go in here this is studio a this is where the show happens but obviously it's very early, not happening. This is a little behind the scenes when the lights are off. Over here, this is kind of like the, actually you can see it right there, the weather authority. This is where the anchors sit. There are three cameras, like a three camera shot. Nice little green screen. I still haven't figured it out. Yeah, I guess I can't wear green when I do traffic. I haven't really thought too much about it. I hate wearing green anyway, and okay, good. So right now what I'm going to do is if I hit scroll lock twice, I'm still new to all this, so I have to remember. I'm gonna try to go into the traffic cameras. I saw Tara sends out like a, um, a little preliminary weather report in the morning. I saw she mentioned fog. It's so hard for me though to figure out if like it's actually fog or if the traffic camera is blurry. So I never wanna mention it because I don't wanna be like, look at all this fog. And then it's just like, no, like there's just like a smudge on the camera. So I'm trying to figure this out. We'll get to that in a second. For now, I have to finish up my makeup. Really, that just involves putting on lipstick. By the way, this is like our other studio where I guess they do other interviews i don't know i'm never in there normally i'm out in the field and as predicted guys it's like two degrees in here so thank gosh i wore my leggings right now i am putting my finishing touches on getting ready i seriously just rotate between like the same two lipsticks one of them i really like this one should i just use it yeah i was digging for faux by mac but we're gonna use charlotte tilbury pillow talk and if you watched my last video, we have a new addition, Buxom's Lip Plump in the shade Dolly. I don't really think it actually made my lips look any bigger. I mean, I really don't know much to work with, but I liked it. I thought I added a nice little, a little pop of something, something. Nice, and now the real moment of the morning, the worst moment of the morning, is when I have to take my ratty old sweatshirt off. This seriously, this is so old. I got this in college, but keeps me warm in between hits. Ooh, it's cold in here, guys. It's cold. I wish I actually had like a, a temperature to tell you because obviously it's probably not as cold as I think. Wow. I can already tell this is, this is going to be a bad hair day. Yes, it will be, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all about the uh, personality. Was that what they say? And my microphone this morning is the yellow one. They have like different colors, but this is the one they want me to use for traffic. I have in my handy dandy backpack a brush in case I need to brush my hair. I always throw in my Kindle. You never know if we're gonna be stuck somewhere for an extended period of time. I bring my Kindle everywhere. Don't need this this morning, my hat, but okay, here, this. This is my leg strap. I am so bad at hiding my mic pack and everyone always thinks there's something weird strapped to my leg. What you do, take this microphone, run it 
up your dress. Let me bend down so this isn't weird. Boom, boom. And the reason I curled my hair, like I curled it very premature. It's not dirty enough to hold a curl. That's why it looks awful right now is because my hair is getting to the point where it looks not good to wear straight on air. It just looks very childish, immature. I don't know. Like I wore it yesterday. It did not look good. And I feel like curling it adds like a little bit of a little something something. But what I'm doing right now, you guys know I've shown you this before. This is the rundown. So this, it's a long morning guys. I mean, we have a lot of shows. We have one at 4.30, one at 5, one at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 9 a.m. And I'm going through each of these and seeing when I have my reads because as I mentioned, I'm gonna be talking with Bob, but they're all different. Like this one, I'm reacting to a package, then I'm going straight into traffic. This one I'm reading and then reacting and then teeth. Like it's just, it's all different like things. So I'm still working on it still jotting it down. I could have typed it out, but I kind of like to just write things and have it in front of me. But once you're in the anchor desk, it can get a little bit confusing. Like, oh, uh, like, what am I saying? What am I doing? And there's nothing worse than say I do my little traffic thing, not knowing where I'm tossing to next. Like, am I tossing to Bob? Am I tossing to Tara? Am I tossing to Break? Like, these are things you need to know before you get up there because it happened yesterday where I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. But luckily I saw Tara running to the weather wall. So I was like, okay, I'm guessing. She's up next. That crash I was telling you about on 275 at Five Mile Road has since cleared. The other one though, not so much. So the left lane is still blocked on 275 westbound after exit 54. It's not horrible though. As you can see, traffic is still moving, just a little slow because then it kind of just shifts on over uh, as they have that left lane closed as they still work on clearing that crash. So certainly not as bad as it was, just something to look out for. You could actually see some of the fog over there. And then this, I mean, this is where you can really see the fog at 275 at Kellogg Avenue. We're not friends this morning and that's because of what I found out. What did I do? I didn't know that there's a secret control down here. That you control with your foot. Yeah, Listen. of the heat. I have been dying in this studio for no. years. I've been here for years. Listen, listen. First of all, only Sheila is allowed to touch that, I think. <laughs> you dabble in it, you do it. I, okay. That foot, it is, it is, that it sneaker. Is, <laughs> my, my, my little, look, look, see, it's Darth <laughs> Vader and Garth Brooks, it's Darth Brooks. My goal is to be on the level where I can control it. You and me both, sister. Why am I more nervous having your camera there than those cameras there? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. <laughs> so I can edit to make you look weird. <laughs> You really can. Like, I can, like, edit you saying like, something and then, like, no one responding. <laughs> like, like, I need help you. <laughs> That's true. Three, two, one. Well, Britney Spears' father, James Spears, is asking a judge to force the pop singer's estate to keep paying his legal bills. That's despite the fact that the court system suspended him as her sole conservator. Yo, ho, ho, Merry <laughs> Christmas. Grab yourself a hot cocoa as Rick Damagella takes us aboard the Holly Jolly Rogers with a Christmas album fit for any salty dog or scallywag. <laughs> Okay, now in now wait, in fairness, you see they didn't see. In the teleprompter it said pirate voice, please. It did say that. You can't give me that prompt and not expect me to go all but in. But Bob is the only one who will get that prompt. <laughs> like can you can you imagine me and John? <laughs> well, I've been known to her on occasion. She shows she shows by the seashore. She sells seashells. She sells by seashells by the seashore. seashore. Red leather, yellow leather. Is that one? Let's go with Red leather. Oh, <laughs> I didn't think I it didn't sound like it would be. Breaking news alerts and the weather authority forecast. This is Good Morning Cincinnati, live on Local 12. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's Good Morning Cincinnati now at 9 30. I'm Bob Herzog. I'm John Lomag. And I'm Clancy Burke in for Jen. It's a chilly one. Hmm. It, it, I, it, this is why this is why we're not friends. It, <laughs> Who does that? 27 degrees. It's I mean, but it's it's did you know it's the first day of winter? I did. Because okay, Tara has said it many times this morning. Oh, yeah. oh, oh see? That makes Tara very happy yeah. that, that, yeah. that you were listening. Same because fun. I know she suspects it, you know, in the back of her mind all the time that Bob and I do not. <laughs> But it's She's not probably true. correct. No, we just we're <laughs> looking at all of these things we have to read. Right. Yeah. So much reading, Tara. Reading and listening. <laughs> <laughs> reading and listening, learn concepts for sure. <laughs> for sure. Bob and I start together at 425 in the morning. 425. And he heard me say the first day of winter, or what he thought was his idea, <laughs> about an hour ago. Now, Clancy and I had a bit of this conversation earlier, mm -hmm. and you were saying that your family 
it's Irish, and she says they, they tend to have drinking is really more your speed. I got an angry text could, from my mom. Did you really? Yeah, That's I'm amazing. so sorry, mom. <laughs> like, I, and I just brought it up again. I'm sorry, Clancy's mom. I, I just, I don't That's like the food bet. they make. So we do other things. Okay. Like drink. Uh -oh, we, I understand that perfectly. <laughs> We've got Jenna in the house. She had the best story this morning. It was so unfair. Let's show them the dogs. Let's show them the dogs. They are just the cutest, little, sweetest things. They can barely open their eyes. Is her, her tongue still sticking out? I mean, guys, I have the best assignment this morning. They were so cute. Jenna is on day two of filling in on mornings, and she's actually, oh my gosh, that one's the cutest. Good morning, Cincinnati. Today's your last day. Filling in a morning. Yes. Though. How how are you feeling? I'm tired. You're I did tired. not sleep last night. What was your sleeping schedule yesterday? <sighs> well, I napped. I took a nap when I got home from work yesterday, and then I was up like all night. I I don't even know when I fell asleep. I just I can't go to bed at like 10 p.m. It's so hard. I know. <sighs> I know. Waking up this morning, I was sad when I saw the time. I just want to evaporate and go take a nap and wake up and restart this day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have a positivity here. <laughs> I am like so slow right now. I feel so lethargic. Guys, this is me every day. Well, I don't have anything else um, as far as what I'm gonna need to send over to my manager um, on my end. It looks like, did, did you play a little football? Is, is that what it says on your resume? I'm back home, decided to get a nice little action shot of Zach hard at work right now though. He's in the bathroom, probably pooping in there as he does. Not he was pooping. I'm not pooping. Then why are you sitting on the toilet, Zach? I'm getting away. <laughs> getting away. <laughs> it's coming to not. Sometimes I need my privacy. Yeah, that will actually like as much as that's a joke, it's not a joke at all. He'll spend like twenty five minutes in there <laughs> doing nothing except just on his phone. I'll never doing nothing, I'm hiding. <laughs> That's, do you know when we first started going out, I seriously was concerned. I was like, does he seriously hate me that much? <laughs> He's just in the bathroom for that long? Like, you can sit on the couch. I'm not going to talk to you. Like, jeez. Yeah, he will. You're obsessed with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and I thought it was cool to show the little snippet of Zach because people ask me what he does. I will never know what you do, Zach. Like, I will just never know. I mean, you listen to me. Like, I, but like, but you even confused me with what you were saying back there. I don't know. We just, we like to keep it private. I just know he gets a paycheck and that's all that matters. But Zach, I have a very exciting package and to you guys, do you know what this is? Or at least this is what I think it is. I don't necessarily totally know because I haven't opened it. Are you asking me? Yeah. Do I know what that is? Yeah. No, what do you mean? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, I am not 100% certain, but it makes sense based on the size of the package, the shape, and the oh, time the of the year. Book? The annual book! Yeah, I think. I don't know. So actually, let's see. I have my <laughs> I have my knife just sitting here. This this thing, by the way, I don't use it to like cook. Like, I, it's seriously just like my opening boxes knife. Every year for the past, this will be the third year. Two of my subscribers, Amy and Jenny, send me a book filled with photos from the past year that they grabbed from like my Instagram and social media. And it is the sweetest thing ever. They send it to my work, like just local 12. I mean, I'm still not even, oh my gosh, yes. I was about to say, I'm still not even certain it's them. It is, oh my goodness, Zach, oh, you're on the cover. Oh my gosh, guys, is this not the sweetest thing ever? 2021 year in review. And I have to apologize, in last year's video, I was saying like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know who it is. They put their name on the back. I was an idiot. Like I didn't see where they put their name, but now I know who they are, Amy and Jenny. Like I love them. They are the best. This is the cover and oh my gosh. Okay, ready? This one was 2020. This is 2019. Guys, like I could cry. Is that not the sweetest thing you've ever like seen in your entire life? They must really like you, Zach. You always make the cover. Well, they try to sexy it up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm like telling like a story, like a picture book. So this is when I went home to New York. Oh, and I was on Long Island, finally got to visit the beach. Over here, I was a firefighter for a day with the news. Oh, it gave me. And Walter. Walter, I'm so excited for Walter <laughs> to come. Guys, my family is coming in two days. Technically, they're coming tomorrow, but they're gonna get in late, so I don't see them. Oh, my artsy, guys, I got like so artsy. I was like, Zach, take this photo of me, because you know, I, I don't normally ask you to like take weird photos of me. I'm not like I think you're talking with your Long Island accent. What? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I said when I was doing traffic, I call, like I got all flustered because you know the t the town Walton. I just went full Long Island. I was like Walton, and then I was like, uh, 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 uh. I am so unworthy of 
Amy and Jenny and just all of you guys. I will cherish this forever. Like, this is just like the nicest thing ever, Maroon 5. Don't, what? Don't break them. Yeah, they're gonna break. <laughs> Zach, Amy and Jenny, this is, they. Take it easy. They. Amy and Jenny are really <laughs> angry. They're See not. How you treat these things. They're not. Okay, that just like 100% made my day. And today, by the way, like, has actually been crazy. Traffic was just, you know, chill go with the flow and then everyone decided to get in a car crash at once like that's what always happens it's like all at once the traffic cameras weren't working it was insane and i just feel like i blinked and six hours passed this just might be the most legendary lunch i've ever seen we've got ritz crackers and peanut butter which i don't know many people who do this oh cool <laughs> Zach. Oh, I, I don't know what <laughs> nice it's <laughs> a nice fun fact. I'll put peanut butter on anything. I found out devastating news, guys. Zach does not like when my hair is curly. That's not what I said. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You oh, take we... things the wrong way. I don't. She says, what do you prefer? And then said, then we'll say whatever you don't <laughs> prefer is you don't like. It's not. It's... And he goes, I always like straight hair on girls. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is what, just what I prefer. Oh my gosh. You know what's really funny today is, uh, yeah, I have my jacket on, by the way. I'm about to go out and try to hunt for some groceries. I'm running pretty low, but um, today's December 21st. Ready? I'm telling both of you guys. I'll never forget December 21st, 2006. That's the day we got Molly. Listen to what a psychopath I was. I had the option of skipping school and going to pick my new puppy up at the airport. Like she was getting shipped in, I guess. I mean, that sounds bad, but she was getting flown in from Louisiana. And my mom was like, yeah, you can come to the airport. Like Neil's taking off from school. Like it's gonna be so great. And I said, no, I refused because I didn't want to get too behind in school in sixth grade. What? Another time in 11th grade, my whole family went to a wedding in Ireland. My uncle was getting married. It was huge. Everyone went, all my cousins. I have a very big family. Nope, not me. I stayed behind. I stayed at a friend's house because I didn't want to get too behind in school. Like what? Let's check out our traffic on this uh, Wednesday morning. Clancy's in for Jen this morning. Good morning, John. Well, we just received reports of a crash on Red Bank Expressway southbound before Madison Road. Unfortunately, we don't have any traffic cameras in this area, so I can't show you it. But if you take a look at the traffic map, you can see the red line. It does look like there's a backup in that area. So if you normally head out, you normally travel on that road, I would avoid it for now. Other than that, though, looking all across the tri-state, we have had a very easy morning commute. Actually, taking a look right there, I just saw something pop up. Uh, let me just take a quick look just to make sure it is not something big looks like it is a disabled vehicle on the right shoulder on 275 westbound so uh, something to keep in mind but certainly not something that's going to slow you down drive times looking good seven minutes on 7175 northbound from 275 to downtown tara <laughs> live in action nicely done there clancy good morning guys and welcome back to the breaking news center slash the traffic lair. Today is my last day on traffic of the week. Tomorrow and Friday, I am a normal reporter. Friday though, you guys know it's not a normal day because Christmas falls on a Saturday this year. So Friday, Christmas Eve is like our holiday. I'm working it and I'm doing double time and a half. You guys know every holiday I have the option. I can either take time and a half and an extra day off or no day off and a lot of money. And I'm, I, I, I need the money. I, I don't know what it is. I feel like I've actually been spending a lot more than usual, I, but I don't know what it is. Like I'm not buying clothes. I'm not buying, uh, I don't know. I feel like I've been buying a lot of skincare. I have this remote so I can actually see what's uh, going on on the airwaves, but I'm gonna mute this just so that you guys don't get distracted. But this is actually Morella, who is our newest anchor slash reporter. Normally she's nights though, but she's filling in a morning today. But I am super excited right now. My mom just texted me. They're on their way to Cincinnati. As you guys know, I think I mentioned it like a vlog or two ago. They're visiting this year for Christmas, which I never see them for Christmas. Like normally I just <laughs> have Christmas alone. I can't get off for Christmas because everyone wants off for Christmas and someone's gotta work. But my mom sent me this picture. Walter is coming too. You guys know the dog my parents fostered and then adopted. I'm so excited. And I have not seen my parents since I guess June. I only ever see them like once or twice a year. The only thing though, it feels so much shorter because I talk to my mom every single day, like multiple times a day. And I'm not just saying like texting, like we talk on the phone for like at least an hour a day. So it 
seriously does not feel like long distance. Oh my gosh, let me show you guys my outfit. The only thing that was unfortunate about this outfit, it's one of those ones that I really like in real life. Like it's fun, festive, and that's not really festive. I don't know why I just said that, but it's fun, but on air it looks awful. Like I just really hate the way it looks. And I think I mentioned a few vlogs ago, I bought this skirt very oversized. I thought it wouldn't like make a difference. Like it just would be comfy, but it actually like just looks so frumpy oversized. So I tried to like, tie it in the back but it's just it's not working and oh my gosh like i have like this thing where like i just love buying clothes that are too big for me because i cannot stand when things are tight and constricting and it's just not my scene at all like i live in sweatpants or leggings but honestly like even leggings are too constricting for me like i need sweats i was just texting my parents they're in bumper to bumper traffic in new york here in Cincinnati though, look at that. I was telling them that's why they need to move here. I mean, look, traffic moving just fine. Taking a look at I-75 at the Lachlan split. All right, Kristen is oh joining God, us inside. So <laughs> not, you always say that and you do this for a living. Okay. Outfit of the I'm day. Ready. Outfit of the day. We went with a nice patterned skirt, Ooh. black top combo. Do you know where they're from? Um, yes, because this was part of my recent uh, bulk purchase on Black Friday. The Loft, I think. These are Dr. Scholl's. Oh, yes! Best shoes. And I have them in two colors. And they are not the most attractive shoe. However, they are very comfortable to wear for like the four hour span we have to be. Well, uh, we never know where we're gonna go. If we're I know. Be and so like, I don't care if I beat these up. They weren't very expensive. I bought them in two colors, but they're amazing. They like mold to your feet. And Kristen, I guess so what, have you been here for like two months now? Is it really? I don't know. No, I, just, I literally like just made up that It's a month and a half. Number. Okay, I just yeah. made that up. It kind of feels longer than that. Doesn't well, how has it been? <laughs> how have you been doing? Um, Good. I It was easy to adjust to the schedule, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be way harder. Yeah, it's been good so far. I mean, like, um, getting used to the weekends. It's been nice because there's tons of stuff going on with the holidays. So it's been kind of a nice like easing into like, you know, finding stuff to do. Um, I think I have to go. Am I on? <laughs> I think I might have a shot. I'll see Tara. Okay, but I'll come back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Live in action. Sorry. Where are you going? All right, well, goodbye to Kristen. Good morning. Alyssa Rickard is our first educator of the week winner. She is an intervention specialist. All right, guys, we are on our way to see my parents. They actually got in a lot earlier than we were expecting. I didn't think I was going to be able to see them tonight, but we are headed to their hotel. The big test, make or break it in our relationship, is if Zach and Walter get along. As long as he doesn't smell. I don't smell, so I... I only expect what I'm willing to offer. Zach and I can say goodbye to this hotel because I totally led us to the wrong one. <laughs> there was some sort of miscommunication. I asked three times and you <laughs> said yes every time. Probably on my mom's end. No. <laughs> Definitely not me. To the second hotel we go. There it is. Walter! <laughs> What is up? Little Walt, isn't he just the cutest size? <laughs> he is small. Isn't he? What's up, Dad? Let's see. Mom. <laughs> I but I want to hug. Neil right. just sitting like Good a lone you. fox. Wow, the oh, party oh, has oh, arrived. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to crawl Okay, sorry, Mom. I, 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 I hug. Oh my gosh, Walter. This is so cute. I was the drive, Dad. Are you finally happy to be out of the car? How long was it? 12 hours, 11 hours. Jeez. Walt! Walt! Do you remember me? I was that girl you loved. The big test is if Zach likes Walter because he and Molly didn't get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I read it. Some very sad news, guys. It's one of the last days we're going to be able to do the advent calendar because we're running out. Although I do have to say, I've been really busy these past few days, so I have advent calendar days that I have not yet opened. So. That's gonna be exciting, especially if I don't like this. What is this? Barista Creations Bianco Leggero. I have no idea what that is. Ugh. Looks interesting, but will it actually taste good? That's the only thing that matters. Ooh, it says the notes are sweet biscuit, but okay, look at this. It says like the cup size is the second smallest size. Like why, why is that a thing? Oh, you know what? I think it says like I'm supposed to add milk, so it's a smaller type thing. I'm cheating a little bit here. My curiosity is getting the better of me. What was yesterday? Malazio. See, that might be more my speed, especially for a work day. And then maybe I can experiment with the other one on a different day. Heck yes, look at that cup size. That's what I'm talking about. 7.7 .7 ounces. Oh, and the notes are biscuity cereal. I knew you'd look so cute just sitting on the bed, 
sipping on your smoothie. I'm on the clock. And don't you have a half day today? Yeah, I'm just a half day today. Most people, a lot of people aren't working, so. He was really upset and complaining that he has to watch Friday Night Lights in here because some of us got work Yeah, too. are do <laughs> shoving the camera in my face so I couldn't carry this blog, blog. He's on a blog. How do you not know that? I <laughs> know it's not, but why would I care enough to like consciously like keep that in my head? Oh my god! It's a vlog. This is so real this morning. <laughs> Got an extra thick. Shape. It's a thick boy. I mean, can you like, should, like yeah. spill it? It's like not even going. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is what's going on in here. I am, as I mentioned, back into reporter mode. I was reporting earlier this morning, and I had a shoot at ten. So I only have a little bit of time before we can show this. Oh man, guys, chocolate oatmeal on deck consistency right now is awful. I just made it. It has to sit for like 20 more minutes. And honestly, like, does this not just look like the messiest setup ever? Like, I can't help it. I don't know, like I need both laptops. It's just, it's a mess. And actually a lot of people ask me if I like filling in on traffic, if I prefer it, if I'd ever want to do that in the future. And the answer is no. Definitely not. I, I don't mind it. And actually I had a lot of fun these past few days, but it's just so repetitive. And like, for me, it's just a little bit boring. You're so constricted. You're just talking about traffic all day for reporting. One day I'm talking about a nonprofit. The next I'm doing something fun or with a restaurant. Like it's just, your days are so much more varied. And I like that. However, the one thing I have to say is traffic is a lot less stressful in general. Obviously you have those mornings where crazy things happen, especially like snow mornings. I can't even imagine. I've never filled in on a morning where it snowed. So I, I don't even, I don't even want to know what that's like when there are so many accidents that you have to like keep track of. But the one thing that's easier about traffic is you don't have to really do any work outside of your work hours. Like you come to work, you do it, and then you leave and you're not thinking about it. As a reporter, you're always setting up stories. You're always thinking of story ideas. You're always thinking, what am I going to be doing tomorrow? What am I going to be doing the next day? People are calling you. People are texting you. You're getting emails. Like that's the only thing that stinks. And I'm realizing after having like three nice days of not worrying about it, like now I'm right now trying to set up like this shoot for today. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed. It's like 90% confirmed and it's just a little more stressful. Also, I did try the coffee and I really, really like this one. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm, 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 mm. And this, my friends, is why patience is a virtue because now my chocolate oatmeal consistency is, dare I say, perfect. Is he gonna give me a heads up on the, on the question? <laughs> I told my dad I have a serious question for him. It's gonna be good. Well, I, might be one, I might be one different person in Ireland, like, and you might be giving it away. <laughs> so you should, I do not want to be filmed. Filmed, okay, that's great. But all right. We have all of the food that they're gonna be making on Christmas, I say they, obviously you're not gonna lift a finger. Mom is really the only one who's gonna be making the food. But I told my dad, a very serious question. I released information in a video yesterday. Did you guys happen to watch it? What was that information? I had actually- Just Stereotyping Irish people? No, 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 oh no, not again. But no, it actually was information that I about myself that I had released previously, but then I got embarrassed and I privated it when I threatened to kill the whole school in oh. first grade. <laughs> <laughs> Like thoughts. <laughs> uh, what were you thinking back then? Uh, I thought like, geez, like people made too much of it. Geez, aren't they? What, six? Yeah, I was six. Oh, come <laughs> on, geez, like there's parents calling us all night long and panicking. And, like, oh, <laughs> Wait, they really were, because you see, it's very blurry in my mind. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, but I thought like, I remember when I heard this, oh, geez, like she's six years of age, you're a kid, like, you know. <laughs> Do you remember us coming home from the mother-daughter dance? Like yeah, I yeah, stormed yeah. in. Yeah, I said the same thing. Like, oh my god, it's like such a big deal off like, ah, off nothing. I do have to say the calls were probably like. Do you ever wonder like what they sounded like? They're probably so disturbing. Your calls? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were six, like you know. <laughs> like I threatened people with weapons. I, I I left that out of the vlog so I don't people don't think I was crazy. I like specified oh, you weapons. You didn't know, like you probably have the FBI here in the morning. Though. Well, it's too late for that. But I but always. That was my thoughts. That was my thoughts. Like you're six years of age. Jesus, like, come on. Or I will ground you for like an hour. And <laughs> But, okay, but that the best part is, can you tell, I was like the sweetest kid ever. Like I was like known for being so, in yes, shut up dad, don't mm -hmm. pretend. Angelica. <laughs> Angelica, oh, yeah. I used to call you Angelica, so. For the regrets. <laughs> so it's a good reason. But I was, other than that, I was, that, I was innocent. No, but you're still Angelica. <laughs> I just get so mad when I did that. Oh, I just loved doing that. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> Angelica, you 
it even get worse, you know, which was... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it probably wasn't good. Which was better, which I thought was uh, amusing. You, you amuse me, uh, you give me great amusement in my life. But by the way, the one thing, so everything's a blur from the, th the phone call threats. Do you remember Sunday night I was crying to you saying I couldn't face everyone at school because it happened on a Friday? Okay. And what, what did I let you, you want to stay home from school? I think I was just like, I can't go in and you're like, you have to face them. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, come on. Just go and do it and be done. I, no I, one cared. Everybody had forgotten about it by then. But well, the kids had. The kids didn't care. The parents, yeah, obviously. Parents, yeah, yeah. I mean, to me, like, you're six years of age. Mom, how many parents came up to you at the mother-daughter yeah. dance? And what uh, made us A couple of them were that it's fine. I had one, obviously, your friend's mother was with me saying, I cannot believe that they're reacting like this. Sure. Julia's mother sure. came up very yeah. nicely and said, Kids will be kids. You know, she had grown kids as well. And she was just... But others were really upset. Others just had the completely wrong idea. And I was <laughs> horrified. That's when I said, we have to leave. She said, I don't know what kind of programming she's watching, but there was heavy breathing involved. <laughs> she thought it was sexual. What? I was just trying to be a killer, obviously. I know that. And you know, we shouldn't talk, like, compare it to threats on schools now. You were threatening more like monsters. Uh, Mom, I used weapons in my threats. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not, let's not pretend here. We've already given so much information. When the parents were coming up to you though, what was I doing? Was I just standing there? You like... just had your head buried in my stomach. Like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Much like Walter. Age, like, you know, I mean, Jesus. Oh my so you God. you were just like hugging me and like trying to hide in my body. I can't believe you, when you went to the, uh, what was it? Mother daughter night or something? Yeah. You went there and you thought like, you forgot the book? No, Dad, didn't I didn't know about Caller ID. <laughs> oh. I left it on everyone's voice. I know, mail. but you'd forgotten about it by when you went there. Well, I knew what I had done, but I thought it was funny at the time, and oh. I didn't think anyone knew it was me. Also, can, can we all, can I remind you, you were the one who caused all of this to happen. You wouldn't let me go with Marielle and her mom. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. You were staying home from work because it was raining. And it's home that day. yes, and they called, and I ran to you all happy, and I was like, "Oh my God, I'm gonna go with Marielle." And yeah, you said, "No." I have to bring you to Marielle's, and then I mean, you said just, no. no, which I should have said a lot more. To None of this would have happened. Well, it's a good lesson for you. Also, can I also remind everyone, Dad? Do you remember this? One of them, I really wanted to be her friend, so I, on their voicemail machine, said like come to, I didn't say our address, but I said the house next to us, if you don't want to die. And I thought their whole family was going to show up. I have it like in my head, like I can picture them looking like up and looking around like, what do we do? And then you guys coming out and being like, come in, come in, like we will help you guys. And then me and her, I don't, I, there's no reason I couldn't say her name, but it's just weird. I don't want her to know this. Um, we were going to become best friends and none of that happened. So she died, what was the idea again? Like no, they weren't going to die, but in the threats, I was saying, come to this address. It was the house next to us, so they wouldn't know it was me. Because <laughs> my six-year-old brain, I can't believe how undeveloped it was. They were gonna come to the house next to ours if oh you don't God. wanna die. So I pictured the whole family driving up in the minivan. They drove a minivan back then. And then you guys being like, oh, come inside. Like, what's going on? We can't believe this horrible thing has happened. And none of that went down. So when you went to school on Monday, what happened? Nothing. Everyone was totally cool about it. Also, the other one, Dad, do you remember in, um, sixth grade when I wouldn't go to the airport to pick up Molly because I didn't want to get behind on school. Like, what are your thoughts on me being a little freak or missing out on that wedding well, in 11th grade? I was to Ireland, but it's like, well, I mean, if that's the way were. you, you were. sad that I said I wasn't going to go? Well, we're so happy to go with, I mean, I'm not really happy to go without you, but... Uh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's so, that's so sad. I just went on a free vacation, you're, missing school. You were a sad child, Nancy. <laughs> sad child. I was focused. Was? I was focused. Yeah, but it's like 10. Were you 10 then or something like that? Or nine For the 6th grade one, I was like 11. Yeah, well, I mean, that was your choice. <laughs> Zach would have never done such a noble thing. No, I would have missed as much school as my parents let me. <laughs> <laughs> like any smart kid would have. <laughs> oh, we yeah. Used to, we used to have to stay at home, like, you know, if the hay was in the field, like, you got a ghost. Yeah. You know, really? Rain, you know, all the time. You know, just be, what's come up, we got to get this done today, and I mean, eight or nine or... Yeah, obviously he's not from America. He's from Ireland. Yeah, like went to uh, the, the four cows used to milk every morning before we went to school. Four or the five. <laughs> yeah, we used to stay at home all the time. Not all the time. Like, say, if, if definitely for good weather, if you had some farm work to be done. Yeah. A little farmer boy. Well, guys, it's two days until Christmas in today's world. I know when you're watching this, it's so much later, and that disturbs me. I secretly hate that. But I'm ending the vlog here. We're going to continue the family shenanigans in the next vlog for Christmas. Are you so excited? Sounds good.
All right, I really am ending the vlog here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. All the way from Long Island, now happy in Ohio. She has the most amazing chocolate oatmeal recipe I know. Hey, that's Clancy Burke. Yeah, you heard it here, you heard it here first. Up and out of my the Cincinnati News reported behind the scenes from work here's Clancy Burke